everyone welcome to today's video i hope everyone is doing well and having a lovely day i have a gigantic haul we've got our favorite stores items from Poundland, b and home bargains and then a few other shops as well so grab a drink and let's get straight in Alright, so I'm going to start off with the items that I've just got like one item here and there from different stores. So starting off with B&M, I did just get one thing and this is for my nephew. So this is the first item that I've got. Oh my goodness, it was so adorable. This is £15 from B&M. Comes with a teddy, the wagon that you can drag, lovely red colour. We've got the picnic mat here. You have a strawberry, a cake slice, grapes, and then the cups and the plates. I really thought this was a bargain and I know that my nephew is going to love this. I can't wait to gift it him. I saw this on social media actually and I asked my mum, please, if you pop into B&M, can you have a look and if you do find one of them, keep it for me. So she did, I'm so grateful for her. I just feel like that is the kind of things I like to see for children, you know, a bit of nostalgia and something that I really feel like imaginative play is so important for a child's development. So I really love that kind of play. And then I picked this up from Asda and it was reduced to five pounds they do have a sale on at the moment and when they do clothing sales i have to say it is one of the best sales like from all the stores they have amazing prices and huge ranges as well so <laughs> i just got some pajama bottoms these are zebra it's soft as well so it's velvet and this was five pounds what was it originally eight pound fifty so to be fair that was a good price to begin with i thought i also got this from asda how adorable you probably remember if you do watch my shop with me i have some subscribers who just watch the haul and some that watch the shop with me and some that watch both also hi to my new subscribers or if you're watching and you haven't subscribed make sure you click the subscribe button but yeah we've got these which are so cute they do have sale items now as easter has passed i just think that these are adorable for spring as well and i'm a crafter i've got a channel liana diy if you do like to watch crafts and diys but i really love this because i like miniature scale so i know i'm going to be using these and it saves me making them and i thought three for a pound bunnies in a pot like you cannot go wrong very cute and if you know me, you know that I love everything cute. So my next item, again, those that have watched my shop with me will remember and recognise this. How cute. And it is for me. I do like plushes. I have a few people that are like, you know, you need to grow up. Like, it's, this is for kids. But I tried. Didn't work. Didn't happen. It's just what I like. Some people like shoes and handbags and makeup. I'm not that kind of girl. I like plush. But they've got a door stuff as well. And this is their spring range. Then I picked these up from Aldi again on my shop with me. These lovely pink slippers, they are so comfortable. I can't wait to wear them because I've had them waiting in a bag for me to haul. The other thing we got, I, we actually did get a few things that I put away, but Hobby grabbed this. I've already got one, I got it off Amazon. The Aldi one was only a couple of pounds cheaper than the Amazon one, which I was a bit surprised at. I thought it would be relatively cheaper than the Amazon one, but no, this is a good one. I think mine is a little bit better. I think it's more powerful. It has a few other features, but this one also does the sound. So it tells you like one part of the mouth and then it'll do a sound and then you know to move on to the other part and it does it four times. So you know, like the time that you need on each section of your mouth. Hopefully that makes sense. And then it also has a timer. So it makes a sound for two minutes and then you know that the time is up you don't need to brush your teeth anymore the other thing i really like about this is it lets you know if you are pressing too hard like on your gums or your teeth it will go red so then you know you know you need to brush your teeth a little bit lighter and if you already have one of these home bargains does a really good pack of replaceable heads they have an amazing value like i can't remember the price and how many you get but it's really good I compared it with Amazon and I'm sticking with the home bargains ones and it's universal so whatever 
brand or type of electric toothbrush you have, those heads will fit. I also really loved the men's items clothing-wise in Aldi, so we grabbed these, land trousers. I'm so surprised by the prices in Aldi, like we shop there for food but not so much the middle aisle. And when I went there to film for you guys, I was really impressed. Yeah, the items were really affordable, really cheap, and this was cotton as well, so 100% cotton, and they are really comfortable. I had to encourage my husband to buy them, and now he loves them. He's living in them, so we actually need to go back and grab a few more. Okay, now we will move on to the Poundland bag. There's so many shops I have to remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this is a Poundland bag, a nice cat bag. And I have so many bags, honestly, I could open up my own shop. The amount of times I just wish I can remember to grab them out of the car before I go. So I do have a few items from Poundland that were from the Easter range. And I know Easter is over, but again, I use these for springs and for my crafting. So I'm going to start off with a few gifts that I've bought. These are, again, for my niece, for my nephew. I am impressed with Poundland, like the changes that they're making, but this time round when I went in, I started feeling a little bit like the items were overpriced again. So they do have things like in the home range now that are ATP, I am happy with that. Also the quality has gone up, so the things that are priced a little bit more I feel like is justifiable or that we can... <laughs> kind of have patience with it a little bit more but this here I feel like should be a pound like one pound fifty pushing it but it's two pound so I'm not sure I was a little bit disappointed with some of the toys I was thinking I am so sure this should be a pound you know they get things in mass from China I think they are moving things to Poland but I think they've got a few things still from China and you know that these kind of things cost pennies, literally. So the fact that we have to pay £2, I wasn't too impressed with. I really like this. My nephew is into all of this, like fake food, you know, the role playing. We actually have bought a kitchen, which I will show you, like a clip of here. It was pre-owned and I know this stuff is super expensive. We got it for a good price. We did have to travel, or hobby actually, travelled an hour to pick it up and I can't wait because we're going to be giving it him tomorrow and it's going to be a surprise. We're going to have him wait upstairs and we're going to install it and everything, put it in place and then he's going to come down and see it and I just cannot wait for his reaction. So I got this initially but now it goes in with the whole kitchen thing that I've got him anyway and you've got various fruits that you can get in Poundland. I felt like these were the cutest, they've got faces on, so that's why I got these and they're £3. The other thing with Poundland is they're starting to have like the labels with the pricing, so it's nice and easy. And then I got this for him, how much was this? £8. And I felt like again this probably would have been like £6, £6.50 maybe, but I thought it's really nice, like the quality of it, it's all wooden. But it's like the kind of games that I was talking about earlier, the things that are more like, I want to say retro, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, I don't know, more wholesome, let's say. So you basically have this stick with a magnet and then the worms inside the apple. I think they had a strawberry as well, but I felt like the apple with worms is more classic. And then you basically use this tool here with a magnet to raise the insects out of the holes because they have magnets on as well. And the magnets have two colours there. I find Poundland to be really well priced when it comes to sweets, chocolates, crisps, that kind of thing. So I try to wait out when I need a chocolate or something so that I can go to Poundland and grab them. So we've got Bounty and I think this is the only thing I like with coconut. I don't actually like coconut water or I like having coconut but even flavoured things, this is the only thing, it's a little bit strange, that I like, and I do quite like Bounty. I've grabbed these as well, fruit pastels, and they have changed the recipe so that it's now vegan friendly. So I love that. So now, those that don't eat gelatin, like Muslims don't eat gelatin generally, you can eat this and we don't miss out. <laughs> So another thing I forgot to show you from B&M is this gorgeous mug. 
This is from the Natural Bloom range for three pounds. I was eyeing this up for the longest time. I thought, why am I debating? Like, put it in your basket already. <laughs> so I love it. I do like these pretty things that are coming out, like all of these glass detailed mugs and cups. The only thing about it is because it's quite wide at the top, your tea gets cold quick. So this is why I generally try to avoid this shape now. I really loved it and I got so many mugs from B&M in this shape and then I figured out my tea is getting cold so quick. So now I'm trying to stop buying them but apparently that didn't work because here I am. <laughs> So carrying on with a Poundland now, I grabbed these, I couldn't believe the price of these from Poundland, super cute, I don't need the steaks so I am going to take them off their steaks, but they are 80p, yeah so it was under a pound, so again Poundland are having these 80p price points matching Home Bargain's 79p price point, so they're being a little bit cheeky there. And then they've got another one, so they had like the same bunnies but in different positions. Was that sitting down? Yeah, like, and this one is sitting up, upright. And then I grabbed this actually from Donal. So that goes with the little bumblebee that I picked up. Again, I'm going to be taking it off the stake, but I don't have a bird this size for my crafts, and this was three pounds. I grabbed lots of different eggs from Poundland. We've got these ones here in this and they have white and green eggs with little black dots on. And then these which I liked the colour of because I can never find neutral eggs. They come with white eggs as well and they have the feather in. You've got one feather or two feathers. This was one pound and how many did you get in there? Twelve. They've got a little bit of raffia, I think that is. And then I got these eggs as well, just because they are smaller. I don't generally craft with large eggs like the ones I showed you, but I don't like the plastic as much. They're one pound and you get 12 in there. And also again, a little bit of the raffia and the feather there. And you can hang these. I don't need to do that. So I'm going to be cutting them off. And then some spring items. This was I don't know if this is still out. They should have left the spring items out, I feel, because people can still buy them. This one here, I really liked. I felt like, what am I going to do with it? But that's probably the question I ask myself with a lot of what I buy. But for some reason, I really liked it. I don't know. It will come in handy, I'm sure. Like a little fairy garden, I think, would be really nice. Or having this hanging from a lantern and then decorating the inside of the lantern. This was £1.40, so I think this was a little bit more than I would have expected. Like, I think this should have been a pound, to be honest. And then I picked up these birds. Again, this is under Easter, but it shouldn't be. Like, I think they might have this still out in the home decor, as far as I'm aware. But it is £2.00. And I think these are really nice, like you could do quite a few different things with them. And then you can also spray paint them as well if you don't like white. I love white as a colour for all of these like ornament type of things. So I actually find it really annoying when, because <laughs> it doesn't work for me, when it's a different colour and I have to spray paint it. This is another ceramic ornament, a bunny, with a little pom-pom tail and a ribbon on the neck. And they had these in different colours, but... As I mentioned, I do prefer white, so I stuck with that. I also grabbed two of these because, again, I really love this kind of scale. It doesn't take up much space as well. And these were ATP, so I was so happy with that. <laughs> and then I also got one of these little houses. They don't light up, and it does say home, sweet home, with a little heart there. Again, they should have left us out, like, I think they've lost out on some sales because people could buy this regardless it's not Easter I really like it. I think I'm going to turn this into a little birdhouse for spring I've picked up these bunnies let's see the price of those one pound I thought they may have been ATP but they're not I think I got all the colors that they had for these I thought these were really really cute and I love the pastel colors it's something I like about like the Easter range in stores. It's always soft pastel colours to match spring and I really am just there for that. I also got this from Poundland for a pound. I like their new packaging and I really needed to keep on track of my shopping list. 
So I just place it on the fridge and it even comes with a pencil, so that's super handy. And then I think this is the last item from Poundland. I grabbed this but they've got a better version now because I don't like glam, that's not my style and this is quite glammy I would say. It's £1.40 but I do need a cotton pad holder. They got one out with plastic and bamboo and that's definitely more my style but I just couldn't justify buying another one when I've already got one now. And this is the back where you place them inside. So now I'm something just plumped there <laughs> so now i'm on to my home bargains haul i grabbed my encona my favorite sauce i tell you guys so much about this it's really really good and then i've picked up some carex this is a fun addition it's a cherry on top scent sometimes i get mixed up and say flavor but it's a scent and i can't wait to use this i really love the antibacterial Carex hand washes but also the ones that have these fun scents that they do but this one I haven't come across I think it's limited edition we'll see I also grabbed one of these I actually had one not long ago and it was so good that I need two or three because one for deep conditioning my hair and then the other like sometimes I leave conditioner in, conditioner in while I'm in the shower and I like to just have this on top so these are really good compared to the ones I got from, I think, Poundland or Wilco. Even when it was open, they were really bad. So when I tried this in pink, I have a pink one from Home Bargains, I had to go in and get another one. We've got some batteries. This is for the kitchen thing that I got. It's over there for my nephew. I have to remember nephew and niece. Yeah, and so we need quite a lot of batteries for like the washing up area the little washing machine as well and the cooker and then we always get these original sauce it's so good have you tried them if not you've really got to try them and they've got different scents again this one is lemon and tea tree usually we just get the tea tree one which is so fresh and tingly i also like to pick up all of my bird feed from there it's really cheap it's the cheapest i have seen for all of their different bags so I get like this, I think I get everything to be honest that they do for the wild birds, but I tend to get crows. I've got a family of crows and pigeons and seagulls. I'm not really getting the small birds, which I suppose I prefer in a way because my cats would go for the small birds, whereas for the big ones, they just sit there looking at them. I think they're a little bit scared of big birds actually, especially the crows because they intimidate and they have a, a really loud, you know, crowing sound that they do. And Leo is actually petrified, like he runs away from the crows, so don't need to worry about them. And then we've picked up some of their summer outdoor games. I've always wanted one of these hoop ones. We got the egg, they've got like an egg race game, which we got a couple of years ago. And they also have the bean bags. I also picked this one up. I got these from Poundland originally, not this big. This looks so fun in comparison, but the smaller ones and they broke really quickly. These I have to say look really good, like in terms of quality, it looks like it's not going to break hopefully. And it comes with the ball and this was three pounds. It's super fun. I love like jumbo things for outdoor, like a massive jumbo snakes and ladders. We've got that. We also have a jumbo four by four, like connect four game. Now I've got another bag from the works because I forgot my bag again, but I have got a few things for my niece and nephew. They've moved to live abroad and so far the two times that they've come to visit, it's been a bit of a surprise. So they've come this time for aid as well so now we had to kind of rush last minute and grab some gifts for them both for the kids i also wanted to mention that the works do have a sale on currently for all of their easter spring items they're like half price and i think they're, they're really good they've got activity packs and different things that i think is so good to pick up for the children so i got this koala <laughs> which I had to fight for a little bit I don't know why hubby was like you don't need it and okay obviously I don't need it he was saying pick it up for my niece and I was like no I don't think she'll like that but I like it so I grabbed him I just thought he's adorable I mean look at his little cute face 
and I thought four pounds was really good. This is a new brand that um, the works have, it's called Hugs and Snugs, it's by Playworks. So I really love all of their plush to be honest. This is so huggable, like it is just like, look at that. <laughs> and it's so cute, like his ears are really big and I love his little face. So that one's for me. And then I got this one for my nephew and it's such a chubby little dinosaur, look how chubby he is. This is again by Hugs and Snugs, three pounds. It's quite small, but it's very soft. If you have a boy that loves dinosaurs or a girl, then you could pop in and have a look. They've got so many different dinosaur items, not just plush. And then I got this for my niece. I only have one niece and now I have three nephews, four nephews. Yeah, because my brother, his wife just gave birth recently and my sister, she gave birth birth recently so we've got two new boys and then I've got my other nephew and then my other nephew so there's four that's insane I have to remember four nephews and one niece so she loves cats I thought this was so colorful and I'm so sure she's going to like it soft as well this is the back they did have different like gradients in the store so they had some with like a purple face but I really like this one the most and I asked Tubby as well, like, what one do you think I should get? And he also said this, so it's funny because we both had the same... We, we do have actually the same taste in a lot of things. I also got her this to go with it. A little bit of noise there. This is £6, jewellery making set. She loves to, like, be quiet and get on with something, so I thought she would really like this. And when they go back on the plane, this is really easy to take, and I think it will keep her busy as well. Going back is quite a long way all the way to Dubai. So they have different versions of these, and by the way. They had, like, a Barbie one for £7, but I was a little bit worried if she would feel, like, a bit babyish with that one. So I just got the one that's not branded, like, with characters or anything. I also got these in their Easter sale. They were £1.50 originally, they're now 75p. I did pick one up at full price before and I haven't got to use it yet in my crafts. But I wanted three originally to begin with because I just feel like I am going to need three <laughs> in a lot of projects that I imagine. So hopefully I will be using these. I also picked this up, I think it was like a pound. And I really like the fact that it's quite a small miniature crate and I can make like flowers in here even when it comes to summer craft and make like a lemonade stand sort of thing. Little apples in here. I've also got these little jars that my mum gave me from jams and I think that will be really nice in here with a little bit of strawberries you know around there. I just had to grab this. Look at this monster. Oh wow, it's huge. I cannot wait to gift this to my nephew. He's going to love it and I know that his dad is also going to really like playing with it. Look at the ties, it's literally the size of my hand. So I got this for £20 from the works. I thought that was really good to be honest. And it's remote control, it is a beast honestly. It's USB as well charging which I really like because of batteries is just such a nightmare and I feel like no one plays with things with batteries anymore because you just have to keep putting them in and buying them and I think that hopefully this will make sure that he keeps playing with it because his dad could just like charge it on the laptop or anything you know so let me turn it around so you can see a little bit more nice color very bright and there you can see the remote control I think that's the remote control it's so big uh, I'm really excited. I feel like I've done a good job with the gifts this year. And we have two aids. We've got another, we call it like the big aid, which is in two months after this one, about two months. So we don't celebrate Christmas and Easter and all of those kind of things, but we do have aid twice a year, thankfully. <laughs> Now finishing up, I have a few clothing that I want to share. This one here is from Debenhams. I got it for my mum and this is again a gift as well. I felt like my mum is in this stage of life, shall we call it, where she doesn't really like gifts anymore. Like, I think she sees everything as clutter. She's got too many things and we do gift her a lot. I know I do, like Mother's Day, uh, her birthday and just sometimes with no occasion. And so I feel like 
she needed something that is more functional. I also have noticed that she does like her clothing and she started getting into buying like new coats and new dresses so I went and looked for a dress for her. It's so hard, like I can't believe how hard it is sometimes finding like a dress or a piece of clothing. I feel like clothes are harder to find like their style and then you have to make sure as a Muslim like woman you've got to cover certain things and things like that so it is a little bit hard. This dress that I've got has like a very like plunging v-neck so I've bought a neck cover so you can place that and then put your dress over on top and then all of your chest is covered. So just a quick preview, I will stick the image here as well of what it looks like, it's so beautiful. I would have got one for myself but honestly I don't spend this much on a dress for myself. You know, hopefully she really likes it. I love floral things and this is black and pink and I felt like those two colours really complement each other. They, they're a contrast but a really nice contrast. So this was a little bit strange, I was a bit confused because I did buy this from Dorothy Perkins but it said we're Debenhams and when I received it the bag clearly says Debenhams as well. So yeah, a little bit confusing. This is made in India. So you can see there like how wide that v-neck is, like <laughs> everything spills out basically. <laughs> and I really liked the sleeves as well. My mum doesn't like anything around the stomach area like an elasticated waist so I had to make sure this dress does not have that. And so you can see here how really beautiful that is. And I like the frills at the bottom. Can you see how it like flares out? I think that will look really nice. The good thing about us not being that tall, I mean my mum's the tallest. She is five foot five I think. Yeah, I believe she is, five foot five. And so when you are looking, this is a hack by the way, if you are looking for maxi dresses, look for midi dresses because on models they're like six foot. So for us little ones, <laughs> the dresses come down basically to our ankles, whereas for, you know, for the models it is actually midi. So maxi for us would be way too long generally and then you need to take it up. And I do find that you can find more midi dresses, which is good because we have a little bit more to wear then. <laughs> and then another place I tried, which I have never tried before, I have to say, Sainsbury's, you know, the two range, I think it is TU. But I was really surprised, like their sales, I was like, how do they do this? They had like chinos for seven pounds and they were cotton as well. So the quality is there. The reviews are always really good. So I was like, I have to try this. So I got my husband some things for Eid for him to wear, but it's also a gift as well. So I'll show you what it looks like. I think I got a cardigan thing as far as I remember. I literally just had to tell him, go upstairs because you're going to hear me because <laughs> all of this is a surprise, he doesn't know what I've got. So I've got this green cardigan and he's never had something his colour so I'm a little bit iffy but he did once have a hat and I thought it brought out the colour of his eyes because his eyes are a little bit like hazily and so I thought, you know, I think he's actually going to suit this. I was hoping that I could look at the invoice and it would say the price but it doesn't have the price on there. So I will have to try to remember, off the top of my head, I think it was around £7, honestly. Does it say on here? Yeah, oh, originally this was £22. You see what I mean? Like, their sales are unbelievable. Look at how nice it is. You know, this with like a t-shirt and like jeans. You know what, I actually don't like jeans. I think I like trousers quite a lot more. And chinos I used to like, but I feel like that's outdated as well. Anyhow, I'm going to have to see how to dress him up in this, but I really like the quality. Like this, you can tell, is really good quality. Very nice, very thick, quite trendy, I think, when you leave the buttons open especially. And I cannot believe, like, I didn't look, I didn't know that the original price was 22 So yeah, wow, I really did grab a bargain. £7 for that. And then I just got one more, oh, and they also do click and collect, and which is free. So I was like, oh my goodness, all together, 
Yeah, I remember altogether I spent £10, £17 on these two items. And that included like, you know, not having to pay for delivery. And we we literally have a Sainsbury's round the corner. I thought you might need to have a big branch because ours is small, but you don't. You can just do click and collect to anywhere. Now this one was £14 and how much did I get it for if that was seven? Oh my goodness, I think I got it for under a fiver or a fiver like max. But I, I do know that both of them were £10, 17 so I'm not sure how much each was. But yeah, I cannot believe, like this is so nice and soft, very thick, really lovely and I think he suits black. And this is size medium. Pure cotton as well, like ah, paying. I don't know why. Yeah, like when I show you something, it just makes me look like a ghost. But yeah, basically cotton, something cotton for five pounds or four pounds even is insane. So, so happy. I think I need to actually subscribe to their email so I know when there is a sale and jump on it because this sale seemed really old. I was trying to find items and there wasn't that many left, especially in his size. Okay, so I've got one more package to show you. This is from Boohoo Man. This is also my first time trying them out. They had so many lovely buttons because I was on the lookout for him for some buttons. And I had so many that I really, really liked, but the models are all like six foot over. And I'm like, that's not going to fit. Like they don't, they didn't have an option for the leg size on all of their trousers. It was like, how, well, how is that going to fit? <laughs> it was all just waist basically. And the, the length was the length, whatever the length was. And so I couldn't buy any buttons for him, unfortunately. That's something they definitely need to improve on. I was going to show you the prices again, but they don't have an invoice. I think because so many companies are now going paperless, you don't get an invoice with your package anymore. By the way, this is the first time I'm getting to see all of these because it's been in the bags all this time. So, wow, I'm really impressed with this. Oh, he's gonna like this, I think. Very, very nice. What was the original price, does it say? No, I can't even tell you the original price, but I got these on sale. They were really good prices. I think I didn't. I don't go over fifteen pounds generally for a clothing item in the sale. Like my mum's dress, that was the one that I showed you from Peacocks. That was almost forty pounds, and then I had to pay six pound delivery. So you know that was quite pricey. But for me or for hubby, I just get things that are like cheaper. And so look at this, I really like it. The zip, this is like an athletic type of clothing, I would say. The pockets are nice colour. Love the zip and the logo here. It's not a hoodie, but I like the neck as well on here. I look like a ghost again. <laughs> the sleeves. I'm feeling like this looks a little bit big. I'm really hoping it isn't. Yeah, it does seem quite big. That's going to be a nightmare because I got medium. Here's a medium on the top and the bottom as well. Hopefully it fits him. Has my colour returned? <laughs> and opening another bag right now. One of the things I was looking for was a jacket. So this is the other one that I've got. This is quite nice because it's sort of like good for spring, I would say, and for summer as well. But I think I'm really happy with this. It's a nice colour as well. It's a light grey, and usually I don't like grey, but I think that it looks actually quite nice. Very happy with it, very happy with the quality. Hopefully, it fits well as well. What I like about it is that it's quite light, so if you get hot, you can open it up. And if it's a little bit chillier, you can close it. And it's almost like a shirt, but a jacket. It's not a jacket. I hate that word, but yeah, it isn't one of those, but it's just that light, you know, and at the same time gives you that little bit of warmth that you might need. Now, this is the last item that I've got. This is all from the Boohoo Man. do not like the feeling or quality of this one. That's a shame because this was the one that I was looking forward to the most. It's a really horrible feeling. 
and his worse than me, like with feelings and texture. Oh, I don't think he's going to like this. I really like the colour. I actually just bought trousers to match this, which he has to collect tomorrow. And I got it from Next for £15. And now I'm thinking, oh, this does, does feel terrible. I can't imagine this on skin. It's so, so rough. It feels like sandpaper. I'm not even joking. I don't know what they were thinking with this. What is the material? I have to see what this material is. Like, it's really not nice. Polyester. I did like what it looked like online. Unfortunately, in person, not happy at all with it. So this is going to have to be a return. I know that for sure. Oh, that's the problem, isn't it, with the online things? I mean, I like the detail on the sleeves, I like the colour, I like the style of it as well, and this can work again, like, almost like a jacket. It can be a jacket and it could be like a shirt. Such a shame. It feels like your grandma's curtains. That's the only way, honestly, that I could describe it. It is a curtain material, you know, that thick material. Okay, I think you've heard me complain about it enough. At least you know you can trust when I like something or when I don't, because I definitely don't hide it. Oof, I feel like that was a really long haul. I feel like I need a cup of tea, and hopefully you enjoyed it. There were so many different... I do like when it's so mixed, when there's different products and different stores. I think it just keeps it a bit interesting. Let me know what you think of this haul. What did you enjoy? What did you like the most? What were you surprised at? What were you disappointed in? You know, I was disappointed in, but hey, at least it's just one item. Everything else was bang on, thankfully. And now I need to put all of these away. So happy to everybody celebrating. This video will come out on Wednesday, on Thursday, and it is Wednesday for the majority. But some people will celebrate for three days, so it will still officially be Eid. <laughs> we are going to be going over to my mum, and it's going to be a full house. It's going to be quite hectic, but I am looking forward to it. We have had a whole month of fasting for those that don't know, those that don't do Ramadan or aren't Muslim. We had a whole month of fasting and a lot of worship. So I have to say I'm quite tired. I've been sleeping around 5 a.m., 6 a.m., waking up. Like I just have not had enough sleep. It's just a month where we really try to push and exert ourselves in charity in doing good you know we're supposed to do that anyway throughout the year but we just have to focus on it a little bit more in Ramadan and yeah I think everyone's sort of you know really excited when Eid comes because you can go back to you know eating and drinking in the day and you know not having to exert yourself so much in worship so I am looking forward to Eid thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves and I'll catch you in the next one be safe and well bye